What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are back in our Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke playthrough. If you want to know what Nuzlocke rules I'm playing with, go down there in the description, do it right now. And while you're down there, go click all the sellout stuff, the likes, the comments, the subscribes, and even the bells. I would muchly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, you're the best. Now, today, we are going to start off with trying to get to the fighting type Team Star base lady person the fighting one did i already say that i think so but we want to uh satisfy this rep's need to make me want to slap them cheeks so we gotta beat up six people in this area one and we can also potentially get an encounter there's a halucha let me check my map see if we're going in the correct i don't want to accidentally leave this place so it looks like this is all ish area one I don't know what this counts as in here, if this is its own place all by itself, it has a name, or if it's uh, Area 2. Wait, on the map, we tried to go to this Titan, but this area is like all level 50s, and the trainers here are pretty strong, so I don't know. Yeah, this actually says Cass Royal Lake, North Paldean Sea. Wait, that's weird. So this is actually a different region itself, or a different area where I can get a capture still, and didn't get one here. Um... But it doesn't say it on the map. Odd, oh, very odd. So this one also might do the same thing. Let's just check it for continuity's sake. So let's try to find us some trainers as we exploratize Das region and maybe even find something we would like to capture. Oh yeah, the team, you can see it on the bottom, but you can't see their names. So here we go. Tango, Corvus, Lumen, Viper, Vegeta, and Helen. Everybody's looking grandiose. But with not looking grandiose, I still haven't found me a trainer. Halucha, you you look like a dude, but you're not actually a dude, okay? You're not... And as, as in dude, I mean a person. Oh, that's a lot of pokes right there. Um, peoples? Where are you? Huh? Anybody down here? Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down here, but uh, I saw this item. And when I see shiny Bren go get, like... That's what I do. That's what I like it. Here we are. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give this one. Oh! Okay. Uh, that Halucha literally showed up last second. He did take me off guard. You are my encounter, sir. But before we do anything, we should try to use a Pokeball. But there is a whole X feature for this. I don't have to go into the bag, me. There you go. Quick ball in it. Get in the quick ball. That's a fast ball right there. A one, a two, a tres, a gotcha, halucha zars. I don't think I've ever a, used a halucha in a playthrough. And in my honest opinion, halucha, eh, he, he falls into that category of like, he's a cool mon. I, I recognize he's a good mon, but I just don't like him because he doesn't evolve into anything or from anything. And usually those kind of Pokemon just aren't my style. Uh, Halucha live quietly without flocking together. They fight constantly with their natural enemies. Noisy groups of primate. Oh, that's cool. Your enemy is primate, but that's bad because we have Vegeta on the squad, so you two better get along. What's your name gonna be? Ooh, if you're enemies, I could get a good one. You know, they're not really enemies because Vegeta, Vegeta has a lot of enemies, but at the same time, he probably takes them all out, and his biggest rival is Goku, and I don't want to name him Goku, but, like, he's a he wants to be a wrestler, so, and when I see Halucha, I don't know, I just think of the Great Saiyan Man, but I don't want to name him that long-ass name. So, who is the Great Saiyan Man is Gohan. So, we're naming this dude Gohan. And Gohan falls under the same pretext that freaking Halucha does for me, where he, I don't really like him so much. But we got him on the squad. He's there. He's here to stay. He's a loved member. Now that he is a part of us, he's in the squadron, therefore we do love him. But... That's uh, the, the, there's two different things. You can still love something and not really like it. So, uh, some of you out there know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, you there. You're mine. Once I defeat you, you'll be another feather in my cap. But what does that even mean? I mean, it's like I'm another notch in your belt. I'm, I'm just like experience for you. As you are experience for me, boy. And my whole party. Oh, Pupitar. Hello. Um... This is one person I don't want to fight with you. We uh, also don't want to fight you with Lumen. Uh, you're rock ground. Hmm. 
very much from... I uh, probably just to send out Corvus. Corvus is probably the best answer. He saves our... He saves our Heine so many times. We're inside of his backpack. If I... Dude, when are they gonna... That'd be cool eventually if they did that. Like, you could dress up your Pokemon, but to have your Pokemon actually hold accessories or actually see them holding their item. Like, if you give them an amulet coin, it's a necklace. That'd be so cool if I could see the necklace on their person. Or on the Pokemon? They're Pokemon are people, but y you know what I mean. Uh, Electros, electric type, no weakness. What are we... What are we doing here? Um, uh, Deviper? I think we're going on Deviper because he can resist your attacks. Does Electros get Dragon Pulse by level up? I feel like he's one of those Pokemon that might. Sometimes randomly Pokemon will just get random ass moves like Dragon Rage and Dragon Pulse and Dragon Breath. Like Onyx gets Dragon Breath? Like what the? He's a big snake, but I don't think he Dragon. There you go. Get that claw. Oh no. Oh, now he's coiling up. Great. Okay. Attacks higher. Defense higher. Does that lower your... No, it raises your accuracy. Okay, yes. I knew it did something else. Um, Can I breaking swipe you comfortably? I think so. I don't want to take extra damage. Whoa! A crit? That coil didn't even matter. Viper, good eyes on you. Spotting his weak spots. Here we go. Slow bro. Slow bro is a more... Is he specially? Or I think he's more physically defensive, where Slow King is more special. So I think we should be able to send out Lumen and take you out. Not take you out. Not that he's not also. He's he's just highly defensive. Slowbro. We want to talk about Pokemon I like. I really like Slowbro. Uh, his design is just so clean. Like look at him. Why are you so like dark though? You're, are you Shadow Slowbro? What's going on here? This is the first time I've also fought a Slowbro. Why are you so polygonal? Hexagonal. There we go. I just had to zoom in a little bit to get a clear shot. You gotta put that focus on. But this is the first person? We gotta fight five more people? Oh, looks like we may never know. What are you talking- I just told you, didn't I? I thought so. Uh, let's heal you up. Who wants to go out in front? Not Tango. Change position. I feel like Lumen was the lowest level- or he has like the lowest amount of overall experience, so I'll I'll keep him out front. Let's get the zoom in the zoom in around. Looking for people. Hello. Um goody 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 gumdrops. There we are. Get all those items. Wow. Indeedy, the top of a hill. Got your blind spots on. Dragon dance. Oh hell yeah. Now there's an item. Wait, once you pick up a TM, doesn't the TM machine just, like, read it and, like, you can make it forever after that point? So, I can just, like, teach a bunch of people Dragon Dance now and just sweep the rest of this game. That's so cool. And there's a... Wait, why are there multiple freaking towers here? Sandwiches, yes? What do you mean? Yes. Like, mm, yes, Kwai? Or, yes, I would like a sandwich? Apparently, this one Earl thought up sandwiches because he wanted to be able to eat while keeping a hand free to play games. That, I think I've heard a story similar to that. That sounds like it might check out, which is a, an ingenious way. And he's like an inventor, but he didn't actually create sandwiches. He just wanted sandwiches so bad that he probably just was like, Hey, you know it would be cool if I could eat and have free, like my hands free and not all greasy and dirty. With all these meats we're eating. And then somebody was like, I, I, if I impress the king, I could have like a good life. So I'll make sandwiches. And I feel like that's even what goes on today. Corporate and CEOs are like, we need this product now, but we don't know how to do it. And the, other, the, the little people are like, we could do it for you. And they end up doing it. All you need is someone like someone high enough or with enough money or influence to just want something. And other people will be like, here you go. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like how we all work as a species, kind of like that. It seems kind of weird, though, but it is what it is. You gotta accept it. Some we have some cool things from that. Now, what are we throwing out here? Um, uh, do I need it? Yeah, we do. Uh, okay, Corvus again. Get out here. I was thinking about Tango, but he's already the highest level, and I don't want him to be far and above everybody else. We're trying to keep things at a 
like a levelness right here. I want to put a level on my Pokemon and everybody's the same level, okay? They're not the same height, so a real level wouldn't really work, but you know what I mean. So let's just Brave Bird all over this Serena. I swear, only when I record, my nose gets so itchy. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like a disease or an ailment or something. Maybe it's all in my head. Helen's there. Nice, she's 54. I guess Pokemon battling isn't really a game. Seems I can't pull it off one-handed. Oh, were you just eating a sandwich while we were fighting? I mean, if I could, I'd probably do that. I mean, I've played games while eating at the same time. I don't like to, though. Because then, like, for the same reason that King is like, I, my hands are dirty. I want to get my freaking controller all nasty. That'd be terrible. You and your Cheeto hands touching your controller, making it... Oh, okay, that was... That was kind of odd interaction, but I like it. I am the dragon's wings. I don't think so, but you do what you want, boo-boo. We're going to keep out Loom. Well, you probably shouldn't keep out Loomin up front if you got dragon-type Pokemon, because all of his moves are resisted except for Mudshot, and you know how I feel about that by now, and I don't like that. So here you go, Corvus. We'll just send you up front right now instead of switching you in. I also want to check out this tower. I am the eldest of three sisters, the ones... Who's claimed the dragon's wings? I'll blast you away. What? The dragon's wings? And there's Dratini here? That's pretty cool. We could have a Dratini as our encounter. I really do like their smirk, like their smugness. That's one of my favorite designs for a person. Um, okay, we got oh, we got a flying about 56. Yowza! Okay, um. You are special. You might have flamethrower I'm just gonna use steel wing to see what that does for you okay now you have dragon claw freaking a physical noivern get your shiz at it Corvus oh I knew I should have home claws but I didn't want to home claws and then have him use flamethrower and then I would just have to switch out so he basically just got a free turn but at this point if he's just using dragon claw I might as well just use a home claws so I don't have to miss again there we go scratchity scratchity Get that up, get that attack, and that accuracy. Dude, Home Claws, when Home Claws came out and I first saw it and figured out what it did, it's like one of, I, in my opinion, it's one of my favorite setup moves because I hate missing. And it feels so good to just hit, uh, like, a, like a, oh, man, really? Really? And this is your last poke? I'm just going to freaking iron defense. You're probably going to try to hit me, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, can't, I hate missing so bad. So if you just get a couple home claws up, you can you can be like 100% accurate even with a base 70 power move. Because I think every time you use it, I don't know if... I, I can't remember because it was like years ago. But I think I, I either did the math or I watched a video of somebody that did the math and they said that it gets... Every time you use it, it ups it by 7%. Well, that's if it's a 70 base power move, because I think it increases your your odds of that attack hitting by uh, by 10%. So if it's 70% originally, if you use it once, it'll be 77. So, that's very cool. I don't know also what move that's physical, that 70 base accuracy that I'd want to use. But there's a lot, of, I feel like there's a lot of special moves that are 70 base accuracy. Is this the only thing that's up here? Is this Gimme Ghoul? Get me out of here. Give me out of here. There is a Pokeball here, though. Hello. I've come from the skies, lady. I am the dragon's tail. Are you now? Uh, Vegeta, get out of here. Let's see how you fare against her. So if the wings was a Noivern, well, the tail would be, what, a dragon air? Because it's basically just tail. I am the youngest of the three sisters, the one who's claimed the dragon's tail, and I'll send you flying. Get a different line. Your sister with the wings already said she'd save me flying. You should have said something else. Oh, she goes with her smugness. Oh, the Gudra is the tail. Hello. I know every time I hit you and your stickiness, you're going to slow me down. I don't like that. Um, Maybe I should just stop a tantrum now or rage fist. I'm probably going to be faster than you, but if I hit you, then I'm going to be slower than you. So we're just going to stop and catch up, see how much that does. That did not do that much. Dragon Tail. Okay, I guess I'm leaving. Bye! The question is, though, who are we going out to? This could be dangerous. 
Don't yell at me. You're the one that did it. Okay, that's a that's all right, I guess. I can just use Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball it up. We got that stab. Uh oh. You're fast, Tango. What is your speed, my guy? And don't get crit. Boosk. Yeah, Gucci should be so slow. You did like 80 damage. Damn, a crit is definitely going to take me out. I need to go to something else. I don't want to go out on Vegeta again because it's the same thing. If he gets a, if he gets hit too hard. Uh, you know what? Backpacker Corvus, come on out here. Need your help. You got them physical attacks. He tries to use an Aqua Tail or a Dragon Tail. You going to take some damage. You ain't going to be able to hit us for free. And you can't eat your berry now. Aqua Tail. Does Aqua Tail have like a secondary effect? I don't know if it do or no do. I'm just straight up using Brave Bird. Frick that. You're fast? How? I thought Gudra was slow. What is its base speed? What the hell? And I know it's like a couple levels higher than me, but what the... What? Never would have guessed it would have outsped my Corvus. We are a big steel bird, but, uh... Airplanes are big steel birds, and they still go pretty fast. I might have to turn tail and run. Oh, you literally use dragon tail because you are the dragon's tail. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Oh, heal up, heal up, heal up, and we'll put Lumen out front. Lumen, you're out front. No, I don't want to... Golduck, you stay right there. You're a very nice boy. We haven't been to that realm, but there is something over here. Realm Island. Not a whole realm in itself. Acid Spray, pretty nice. Isn't that the one that reduces their uh, special defense by two stages? Very cool. I know you're over there, lady, but I, I'm, I have crow eyes and all these items all over the place are distracting the hell out of me and I just can't think. Unless they're all gone. So here we are. And then we can go on top of this tower. I am the Dragon's Breath. You're going to use Dragon Breath. But what dragon does that mean you're going to use? I am the second of three sisters. The one who's claimed the Dragon's Breath. I'll blow you away. Oh, I like that one. She said she'll blow us away because she's like the breath. Oh, you blow with your breath. Eh, yes, I like that. Dragalge? Okay, I would have never just guessed Dragalge because I did not even know you were in this game. Are you Dragon Water or Dragon Poison? I think it's time for Mud Shot. Because I think you're Dragon Poison. You are Dragon Poison, but that didn't do anything. And you're slow as dirt already, so that didn't really even matter. Okay, and that hurt me a lot. Um, I think I want to T-Wave you. Come on, come on, Lumen. Lumen! You son of a gun! Uh-oh. Okay, whew. Oh, it's a misfest out here. Okay, hit this time? Yes. I think that actually may be, like, the first time I've actually used Thunder Wave. Or the first time in, like, forever that I can remember. And, hey, can it move? Let's go. You're so slow right now. Hit another mud shot. Boom. So much for your Dragon's Breath. You use Dragon Pulse and Hyper Beam. And? Oh, it's, wait, what was that? Normal gems are in this game? That means it's boosted by 50% Lumen, no! Oh, Lumen, you tanky son of a wee. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you can't do anything for a turn, so I guess I'm just free to go for another mud shot. And then you're going to be super slow, so I could hit you again. But I don't know that anything I'm going to use is going to be able to take you out. And I really don't want to risk your life going for another mud shot. And you already used Hyper Beam, so that that is over. We'll just send out Helen. Helen? Probably should have done this in the first place, but we're, we're here now. Much more scared. Lost some weight I got because I got so scared. <laughs> Woo! Really stressing. Really stressing out here. Freaking Dragon's Breath Lady. Let's go. Play rough with them. You love to play, Helen. Let's go. She's the best player. Here we are. Now what little tidbit of information you're going to give me at the very end here. Anything insightful, lady? No? Gemma? Or Gemma? Oh, that makes sense, too, if her name is Gemma using the normal gem. You left me no time to catch my breath. You almost took my breath away. You almost took my Pokemon from me. Oh, I hate you. Change position. 
I almost hate you. Like, that got very close. Golduck, don't protect her. She almost took me out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Slight little heart attacks, palpitations, and we have dragon pulse. Okay, cool. The pulses. We got, wait, we got dragon pulse, dragon dance. Now, this is the dragon lake. What the? That other lake isn't the dragon lake because that's where, oh, the name of that titan over there is also the false dragon or something. So, yeah, it makes, makes a lot more sense now. You, every game needs a dragon lake. I mean, you don't need it, but it makes it cool. I like it. Uh, what's uh, down there? Little islands. What's happening to the lighting? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can we find another trainer? Whoa, I think this is, we're starting to get into, like, this middle section. With all the brown. I don't think I have to be here yet. So, we battled the three... Dragon ladies and I think two other trainers, so we only need to fight find one more person And then we can get that representative to give us something cool. Hopefully So we just got to find them, but yeah, I'm just getting these stuff I see right now because I can't help myself Pick up some free LP a thousand that ain't nothing to scoff at that's pretty nice right there freaking go go get out of here Oh, there's another person finally I went all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I, I, I searched that whole like left side where the the freaking Dragon Lake is. And here we are, back here. After you, we can go to the representative and then we can go into that middle section. Lend me a Pokemon that can take me across the sea. Maybe if you beat and defeat me, I will. Except I don't even know if I have a Pokemon that meets that standard. Except for Corvus. He can take you across the sea because at first I was thinking of a water poke. Like this, we can use chilling water. Fire Fang. Oh, don't flinch or burn me. Or both. That'd be very... Whoa! Chilling water. You gotta do the dance when you do the chilling water. There you go. Lowered your attacks. Do it. Lower it again. Do less and less damage to me. Just don't... Yep, there we go. Chilling water. So close. Maybe I should have used a mud shot. Oh, that was a crit? Really? There you go. No damages for you. Does Chilling Water have a chance to miss? It does not. Here we go. Do it again. Lumen, can you learn a better water type move though? Chilling Water is really cool and it's a new move and everything. Oh, God, flinch. But, uh, I would like you to have... I wish you could learn Surf or something, but yeah, I, you can't. I think I tried to teach you that, but you don't. You don't have the not. You don't have the brain for that, okay, Lumen? But I, it's okay. At least you have a water move. It's very nice. And it has a little bit of, a uh, extra stuff to it. What am I looking for? It looks like I'm sunk. What is the word I'm looking for, though? I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Um, it has, like, like, uh, what's another word for tactics, or... I don't know, I think it starts with an R. You know what, uh, that's not something. That's not, like, the pyro thing where it's bothering me. I can, I can get over words. Pokemon, though? Eh, uh, no. Yes, we've been having some fun. Hello there. You are a wrap. Six trainers. Lovely prize. Stone Edge. Okay. That's a good one. Let's heal up and get to the next area of this area. Well, this is probably like the closest I've ever seen two trainers. Like this is record breaking. Been out east? Like all the way east? Yeah, I went there first. No, wait. No, I haven't been that far east. Isn't We are in the east though. If you, can, if you cut the map in half. Challenge by... Alix? What the? I've never seen that name. That's pretty nice. Low kicks. Still don't know what type you are. Are you bug fighting? I mean, I don't think either way you feel good about a thunderbolt, though. Throat chop? Oh, no. What's up with all these bug types learning throat chop? It's dangerous as hell. Not cool. Get gone, son. Take it all. Oh, you can't take a thunderbolt from Lumen. We are Lumen and you are Gloomin Talonflame. We're okay with this too, unless you decide you want to try to Flare Blitz me. How much health do I have? We are a chunky boy. We can take it. We took a normal gem boosted freaking Hyper Beam from a Dragalge, okay? Lumen's the best. After taking that, oh, you know, we know, you know we're going to reference that a few times also. Like, you cannot. That is his title now. He is Lumen. The eater of gem boosted hyper beams. I guess if I was as strong as you, I wouldn't need to be scared even of Team Star. You just need you a big old belly bolt boy like Lumen right here and you'll you'll be straight, okay? Now 
Got to heal him up. Oh, he's he's higher than Viper though. Viper gets a little time to shine. Quite the traveler, aren't you? Yeah, why not? Sure. You've come a good long way since setting out from the academy, haven't you? How would you know? You also look like you could be a student. Pedro, you are Pedro the student. It's crazy the ages. It's like these people are like in their 60s or 70s. Like they're out here. Like I commemorate them. I'm gonna be just like them one day. You are normal and psychic type, and we'll just hit you with a dragon claw, cause that's what makes us feel good. What was that sound effect? That was interesting. Ouchie, okay, no lowering my special D though. Boom! Get gone. And what's your last poke? Okay, I didn't even know Ranguru was in this game either. We're seeing new Pokemon in this one that we didn't even know were in the game. Glalie? Yeah, don't mind if I get the hell out of here. Uh, you don't have Sturdy, so we can just send in Vegeta. We can give you that close combat in of a lifetime. Does Glalie? Is Glalie one of those pokes where every one of his stats is the same number? I think so. I think he has base 80 in every stat. Which isn't that good or bad. But why make him the mid Pokemon? Like the thing in between Ditto and Mew? Like what? There you go. Take that. A base 80. Base 80 HP with 80 defenses though is pretty solid. It's too bad he's a freaking ice type. And yeah. And he can't really smack back too hard. I feel like you don't really start hitting hard in Pokemon unless you have got like at least base 90 stats. Yes, I could feel precisely how much experience you've gained on your travels. Yes, and give me that guapening, the guap guap. You are level 54 now, but you are the lowest, you, you are the most recent 54, so we'll still keep you at the front, Viper. He was such like a po- it was like a Pokemon I didn't want, but uh, we got him and I'm loving it that we have him. More even- this, this is the trainer extravaganza, but I see things over here. This is like a bamboo forest, kind of. I mean, it's a very it's a very thin bamboo forest, which is odd, because like all the bamboo forests I've ever seen pictures of are highly dense. Yeah, and I don't mean like in their thinking, just with, with their uh, foliage. More potions. What happened to this? Yeah, there you go. There's the cook. I almost lost him. This isn't even a dense forest, so what the hell? Bamboo shoots pop up? I came out hunting for bamboo shoots, but I guess I could forage for p battles while I'm out here. You know what Pokemon they don't have, which would have been perfect for this location, is a panda-esque Pokemon. No, they have Pangoro. Never mind. It's just when you say panda, like, I want something... Whoa! We saw... We're seeing them left and right. New Pokemon... Well, Pokemon we haven't known are in this game are like, this is what Smoliv turns into? I saw you... Wait, you're normal in grass. Okay, so Dragon Claw is fine. But I think I vaguely remember seeing, like, on all the TMs in this game, Seed Sower? So when he gets hit, does he activate a grassy terrain? So you're gonna get double heals from this. From the terrain and from the leech seed. I hopefully should still be able to take you out with a dragon claw. But I don't know. It, it could be close. It could be freaking close. Let's do it. Bang. There you go. Orb Oliva. Or Arbor Arbor Liva? How do you pronounce that thing's name? There's so many ways you could probably say it, but I don't know. Shoot, I was so busy thinking about bamboo that I didn't focus on the battle. But yeah, with the pan Pokemon, I guess I don't really see, like, I immediately thought of it because I was just like, I was racking through my brain and we do have it. Um, and that's just respectful towards Pangora, but I want like a big old chunky, like happy panda that like rolls around. That would be very cool. I would like it. Tiny bamboo shoot. It's power is certain class. What? Okay. Do we need that? Wait, what was this thing? Oh, it was a Marini. Yeah, I want a big old bamboo, or not a bamboo Pokemon. Uh, that could be another thing too, though. Bamboo Pokemon? There's a bear in here. I don't know if regular bears can eat bamboo, though. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, pandas are the only ones that have, like, the stomach for it. Not that it's, like, hard to get down. It's just hard to digest, I think, from what I've heard. 
Give me this. I want to fight that kid, but not before I get this item here. Metal of this. Dude, we're finding so many cool lakes. Oh, and there's another trainer. There's trainers all over the place. Is there... If there's hopefully another representative at another Pokemon thing that nearby at another Pokemon Center. There we go. Hello, and you are a graffitiist, but I still... Items over everything else. Items, items, items. Yeah, I don't think they counted this area as a new area, which is a uh, layman. It's totally differently distinct than everything else. The fall area got one. Huh? Or whatever it was called. Castle Roya. Was it Castle Roya Forests or something like that? Gosh, I feel like a buffoon. I thought the thing I saw was just a mushroom, but it was alive! You got fooled, too. It's okay. I honestly almost did over there on the side. I, I wanted to run into that food and get so bad for some reason. A belly bowl? Hello? This Now this guy knows what's up, kid. You got good taste in Pokemon. Let's hit you with the Dragon Claw. Because I don't think you have anything against me. Whoa, what was that? That was a, that was a drop. Whoa! 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 Weather Ball's animation is next level. What the? Sucker Punch? As I forgot you had that move. But your mistake is that I care. Because I don't. So, breaking swipe again. There you go. The minus two on your attack stat. Goodbye, kid with the belly bolt that gets confused by funguses thinking they're Pokeballs. Very nice to meet you. And it is raining now? How sad. And right after you used your weather ball. I guess there really are fungus among us. Oh no, he said it. The fungus are among us. Oh no. <laughs> All the references and the slang they have in this game is like next level, like more than I've seen in any other Pokemon game. Like, what the? Did they have a whole new writing team for this game? Hello, who are you? These balls are said to be quite famous. I'll help com commemorate your visit with a fine battle. Is this one of the 10 like sites of the world? Heldean sites? Blanca the artist. Dude, I love their eyes. Now they're all swirly. Roxish. You are psychic and water. Oh, that's why we're lagging so hard, because of the freaking rain. I have Super Fang, but also, I forgot to heal. So, let's just try. We have so many hyper potions. What the what? You don't need to buy items in this game. I did in the beginning. I think I bought like 50 super potions, but literally, if you just run around a lot and search, like, you're going to find everything you could ever want and need. And damn it, I healed up just for you to screech me so I can switch out into another Pokemon because I am not staying in against this crap. You hit way too hard with a screech. What the? Uh, does anywhere, does it say why Bruxish's head is like a flower? Like, why does it open up like that? Because honestly, it's a little bit disturbing. Oh, 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 okay, calm down. Uh, you didn't screech me. You screeched the other guy. Be gone. What's your last poke? I know you got another one. That's why I'm a little bit worried. Florigus? Florigus, eh? That gorgeous Florigus. Going in here. I'm setting up a home clause because I don't want to miss with Steel Wing or should we just do Steel Wing? No, she's definitely going to be a bit tanky. I don't think two Steel Wings, even super effective, are going to be able to take you out. Uh, de it depends upon your level, though. What level are you? 51? Now we should be able to take you out with two just regular steel wings. Or just one! Okay, shush my mouth entirely! I thought you were a lot tankier than that. Or maybe I just underestimate Cor Corvus's attack stat. And really, freaking, our boy is just so close to 55. I got so worked up, the sweet the sweat was pouring down my back like a cascade. Oh, no. It feels like me, though, in the summer. For some reason, like, my forehead, I, I profusely sweat from my forehead. And sometimes it just turns on like a faucet and blinds me. Like, it's it's one of the worst things. It just sucks so bad when I used to do, like, this. I, I used to work as a zipline guide in the summer in the, in the direct heat. And it was just like, ugh. I had to eventually just wear, like, a headband or something or bring a towel. Because that stuff. Just not being able to see when you're supposed to be hooking up people to lines and be safe about it is like yeah yeah you you really need your eyes 
Or you just need need to know. But you don't want to... Never mind. You don't want to get too handsy with people. Strike that. Well, while we're striking that off the record, we're also going to ad, uh, admire this. Wait, what does this say? There's so many Pokemon around here. I'm worried somebody's going to run into me. Wait. Let me read. It won't let me read. Okay, fine, game. Let's, uh, let's go into my inventory because I don't think Pokemon can run into you. They can run into you, but I don't think they can... Say, hey, like, look at that. Yeah, it doesn't work when you're inventory. That's cool, though, that the world just keeps going. It doesn't actually pause. So, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you. And have a great one. Oh, bye-bye.